Hello, dear student. We want to finish remaining questions in this video. So let's begin with the question nine. But before then, if you have not yet subscribed, please, I want you to subscribe to this channel for me and you can share this video with your friends. Question nine, copy and complete the table of values of y equal three sine x plus seven cos x for zero degrees less than or equal to x less than or equal to 180 degrees. So this is on trigonometric graphs. So we are going to use the equation given to us to fill in the boxes here, a table. So the function is y equal 3 sine x plus 7 cos x. So if you want to fill in this, for instance, we need to substitute x equal 20. So when x equal 20, we get y equal 3 sine 20 plus 7 cos 20. And when we simplify this, we get 7.6039. Now since the table has the values to one decimal point, one decimal place. We also round this to one decimal place. So this becomes 7.6. So we repeat for 40, 60 in that order until we complete the whole table. So I'm leaving that up to you and you should get these values. Okay, so after you complete the table, you have done you are done with the part A. Now the part B, the B part, using a scale of two centimeters to 20 degrees on the X axis and two centimeters to, to two units on the Y axis, draw the graph of Y equal three sine X plus seven cos X for the given interval. So let's take our graph sheet and draw the axis, x and y axis. So this is our x axis and this is our y axis. So we need to plot the points and then we can do that. So for instance, to plot to plot this point 20 against 7.6, we, no, I mean, zero degrees against seven, we locate zero and move until we get seven. So seven is somewhere here. So that point will be here. So we repeat the same process to plot all the points. After plotting all the points, then we now draw a smooth curve. Uh -huh. So that's it. This is how your graph should be looking like. Now we are we, we are supposed to use the graph to find a value of y when x equal 150. So this is x equal 150 here. So we trace that to the y axis. Now we can see that each of the boxes is 0.2 units, so we have three boxes to the three boxes below the negative four. That will be negative 4.6. So when x equal 150, y will be equal to negative negative 4.6. Now, we are also asked to find a range of values for which y is greater than zero. So the part of the graph that is above the x axis is when y is greater than zero. 
So it is this point from zero, from x equals zero to x equal s is not equal to this point or this value over here because when it is exactly on that x axis, the graph is not above. We can say it is above the x axis. Y greater than zero means it is above the x axis. So we say that the range of values, so this value here, the, the point here is, let's read that and see. So from the from the graph we have each box on the on the x axis is is two is two yeah it's two units because two centimeters is two twenty units so each of the boxes is two units we have to divide it by ten since there are ten boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six boxes and some small value. So that is 13 added to 100. So we can say that the range of values is zero degrees less than or equal to X less than one, one, three degrees. So these are the range of values for which y is greater than zero. Now let's move on to the next question. A man purchased 180 copies of a book at 250 naira each. He sold y copies at 300 naira each and the rest at a discount of five kobo in the naira of the cost price. If he made a profit of 7,125 Naira. Find the value of Y. So we need to form a linear equation based on the information in this question. So we're told that 180 copies then at 215 Naira each. So the selling price will be, the cost price will be 180 times 250, which is 45,000 Naira. Then he sold Y copies at 300 Naira each. So this alone will give us 300 times Y, uh, y selling price. The selling price is 300 times Y. Then we're told that the rest was sold at a discount of 5 Kobo. We know 100 Naira makes a Kobo. So a discount of 5 Kobo, it means 5% discount. So 5% discount means the remaining amount will be 95% of the selling price of the remaining copies. So that will be 95 So it means the total selling price will be 300Y plus 95% of the of the cost price, which is 250, then we multiply it by the amount of copies that are remaining, which is 180 minus Y, because he bought 180 copies and he sold Y copies already. So it's left with 180 minus Y copies. Now, if that is the case, then the selling price will be equal to uh, the profit. We're told that he made a profit the profit of 7,125. So the profit will be equal to profit will be equal to selling price minus cost price, which is this minus this. I will give us a profit. So we need to solve this equation by grouping like terms. So 42,750 minus 45,000 will give us negative 2,250. When we send it to the other side, 
it becomes 2,250. Then 300 minus 27.5y will give us 62.5y. So dividing through by 62.5, we get y to be 150. So 150 copies was sold at 5 Kobo in a Naira at a discount of 5 Kobo, the Naira of the cost price. So B part, a trader bought X bags of rice at a cost C equal 24 X plus 103 and sold them at a price S equal 33 X minus X square over 20. We have to find a, find the expression for the profit. So profit is cost price, uh, selling price minus cost price. We give us profit. So selling price minus cost price. So when we expand this, we get 24, 33x minus x squared over 20 minus 24x minus 103. And this will give us this. Now, we were told that, so this is the expression for the profit. Now, the, B, the II part, if 20 bags of rice were sold, calculate the percentage profit. So now, x equals 20, and that will give us this expression. When we simplify, we substitute x equals 20 in the expression for the profit. And that will give us the profit to be 57. Now, to calculate the percentage profit, we have to find the cost price of 20 bags. So we substitute C equal 20 into the expression for the cost price, and that will give us 583. So the profit percent will be profit over cost price times 100%. And that will give us 9.78%. 9, 9 Question 8, we have this table here. And the table shows the monthly expenditure in percentage of Mr. Okafo's salary. We have to calculate the percentage of Mr. Okafo's salary that was put into service. So we know that percentage means 100 everything must add up to 100 so when we add all of this we should get 100 so so 35 35 plus 7.5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 17.5 plus x is equal to so percentage means for each hundred. So when we add all of these, we'll get 75, 85 plus x equal 100. So x will be equal to 15. So 15%. Now we have to calculate the percentage of Mr. Kavos salary that was put in savings. That is 15%. Then illustrate the information on a pie chart. So we need to calculate all these are in degrees. We need to calculate the sectoral angles, angle for each sector. So angle for each sector. Angle for each sector. So to find that, you find that 35% of 360, that will give us 126 degrees. Then 7.5% of 360 will give us 27, 36, 54, 3, and so on and so on. So after we get the angles, now we can construct our pie chart. So your pie chart should be looking like this. Pie chart should be looking like this. 
C a C part said if Mr. Okafor's annual gross salary is twenty eight thousand eight hundred and he pays tax of twelve percent, calculate his monthly tax. So if his gross salary is to twenty eight thousand eight hundred then the monthly gross salary will be two thousand four hundred. So the monthly tax will be 12% of 2,400 and that will give us $288. Then amount is saved. We need to find the amount after tax. That will give us 2,400 minus 288 and that will be 2,512. So out of this 2,512, We've seen that he saved 15% of it from the previous table. We saw that the percentage of his savings is 15%. So 15% of this amount will be $376.8. Thank you very much for watching up to this point. And please, in the next video, we are going to look at the elective mathematics paper for WASI 2022. So please subscribe if you have not yet done so, so that you get the notification after I finish uploading a video.